Five o'clock, we have new details in a tragic murder-suicide out of Massachusetts that we brought you at 11 on the 19th last this night. This is terrible. NBC10 learned both of the 24-year-olds found dead in Haverhill this weekend have Rhode Island connections. Gabrielle Caracciolo is live in East Providence after speaking with a close friend of the young woman. Gabrielle? Friends tell me that 24-year-old Loren Marino was killed in that murder-suicide over the weekend. And while she currently lived in Massachusetts, she grew up here in East Providence. This was my best friend, like, and she was a great time. Katie Iandolo is grieving the loss of her close friend, Loren Marino. She says Marino was killed in a murder-suicide in Haverhill, Massachusetts over the weekend. It's been awful. Like... It's just been awful. There's just like a piece gone and it's hard. Police say they received a call for a well-being check on Sunday and found Marino and 24-year-old Austin Amaral of North Providence, both with gunshot wounds. They haven't released many other details. She loved everybody and I want, this is a horrible loss that her life was taking and it's just a horrible thing. It's just awful. Iandolo says the East Providence High School graduate worked as a medical assistant, taking care of people with brain injuries. She touched so many people's lives. La, la, la. They've been close since a mutual friend introduced them in Haverhill. Immediately, the first day we met, we like clicked. We, I was like, I think you're my soul sister. And like, she, it's been, we've been inseparable since. Officials say the investigation into the deaths remains active and ongoing. In East Providence, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.